from the outside looking in, it looks like it was a political statement because if it was terrorism or national security, their impact would come from making uh, a big deal out of it, which would be an explosive device, a real explosive device. So it looks like it's someone making a statement that, guess what, I can send letters to prominent people all at the same time and, and bring some type of focus to my cause. Whether we know what that cause are, is or not currently, I think eventually we'll find that out. I don't think that security uh, thinks about politics. Now, politics might be elite because if it is right wing or left wing, in this case it appears to be right wing, then there, are, there is data, there is information that's been gathered with other investigations or other people or persons of interest that have shown that this is probably the culmination of something that has previously, previously happened through other investigations. So again, it's connecting the dots. That's why I think it'll take a little bit for law enforcement to connect all those dots. Quantico is going to, uh, the FBI lab is going to get involved because they have a library, they have collect, they've collected different type of explosive devices. They can link that sometimes to other organizations that have used that type of explosive before. But first of all, they've got to determine whether there has been explosive. I've not seen where there has been verified that there were explosives in these packages other than a pipe bomb looking device, which typically is a low level explosive such as gunpowder. So the impact is low. The impact will involve anything around whoever opens up the, the package. If it does explode and there has to be a trigger on that envelope to be able to trigger it. Anytime you have a package, you're gonna have a human in the loop. So it involves materials such as paper, postage stamps, you know, addresses. If there are materials that make up a bomb, there's those components. So you have physical evidence and then you, you go back to the source based on how it was delivered, who delivered it, is, are there other technologies involved where there are camera systems like you know, smart video monitoring whether it was mailed at the, uh, at the post office or was used by carrier. There's going to be other uh, technical information to track down by investigators too. I'm not involved in the investigation, but from the outside looking in, it does look like it is low impact because you can, you can only get so much explosive in a letter or a package. And then B, it was very, um, uh, materials were being used that you can buy anywhere. It looked like they were either mailed or used by carriers. So therefore there is going to be trail for investigators to follow. And, and I would suspect that we'll know something or something will be announced in the next 24 hours.